In several years, dramas with the theme of cross-dressing, gender disguise, or better known as gender bender drama are a major content of South Korean. And even now, this theme is still highly sought by drama lovers. In this video, I have collected some gender bender dramas that are not only fun to watch, but also show Korean actors' professionalism. Here are my top 7K drama with gender bender theme. 7. To the Beautiful You To the Beautiful You is a 2012 Korean drama that aired on SBS, based on the popular manga, Hannah Kimi, also known as For You in Full Blossom. This drama features famous and talented actors such as Sully, a Chinese Minyu, Lee Hyun Woo, Kwang Hee, Kang Ha Nol, and Kim Ji Won. To the Beautiful You is a drama centered on Gu Jae Hee, who is a fan of Kong Tae Joon, an outstanding athlete. In order to meet her idol, Jae Hee is desperate to disguise herself as a man and enter the all boys school where Tae Joon is studying. The drama was directed by John Ki Sang and written by Hisaya Nakaho manga, Lee Young Chol. With totaling 16 episodes, it has romantic comedy genre. This drama has become one of the most popular Korean dramas. 6. You're Beautiful You're Beautiful is a classic South Korean drama that aired in 2009 with Park Shin Hai, Jang Gun Suk, Yung Yong Hwa and Lee Hong Ji as the actors. Your Beautiful tells the story of twins, Komi Nayo and Komi Nam. Since childhood, both of them grew up in an orphanage and never meet their parents. When they grow up, Komi Nayo, who is an aspiring nun, must disguise herself as a boy to replace her older brother, Mi Nam, as a new member of the famous band. This is where the adventure begins, Mi Nayo must desperately hide her identity from her bandmates for the sake of her brother. 5. Sung Ki Young Kwan Scandal Sung Ki Young Kwan Scandal is a Korean drama that aired in 2010 with the background of the Joseon dynasty. At that time, women in Korea were not given access at all to education or work. However, due to the demands of life, Kim Yoon Hai take on the identity of her younger brother and work in order to support her family. Kim Yoon Hee has done many types of work. In fact, she also worked as a jockey during the national exam to enter a school called Sung Kyung Kwan, an educational institution that is only allowed to be entered by men. After being caught by an honor student, Lee Sun Joon, Yoon Hee ends up as a student there. She goes on adventure after adventure with Sun Jun, Gu Yong Ha, and Moon Jae Shin. They are also known as the Jaljian Quartet, which often causes trouble. 4. Love in the Moonlight Love in the Moonlight is one of the popular Seiguk dramas and was released in 2016. This drama is adapted from a web novel entitled Moonlight by Clouds, by writer Yoon Hee Soon. The drama Love in the Moonlight, which is a romantic genre with a touch of comedy, is directed by Baek Sang Hoon and Kim Seung Yoon. The drama's story revolves around a crown prince named Lee Young, played by actor Park Bo Gong. He has a forbidden love with a palace eunuch named Hong Rae Yong. Hong Rae On's own figure is actually a woman who was raised like a boy since she was young. When she grew up, she then intended to disguise herself as a man in order to become a eunuch in the palace. It was her work as a love advisor that finally brought them together and Rae On could become a royal eunuch. 3. Coffee Prince Coffee Prince is a romantic comedy drama with simple conflicts, but has good chemistry between the two main characters and all the players, making this drama one of MBC's legendary shows. It tells about the life of Goon Chan, a hard-working girl who has been the backbone of her family since her father died. She did not hesitate to run several jobs at once. Goon Chan applies to a coffee shop owned by Choi Han Jol, which only needs male workers. Her tomboyish appearance makes Han Jol think that Eun Chan is a man. Initially, Eun 
Chen did it for money. Conflicts begin to arise along with feelings that grow between them. Two, the King's Affection. The King's Affection is the latest Korean drama that is currently airing. This drama set in the Joseon era is directed by Song Hyun Wook. Starring Park Eun Bin, Ro Woon, Nam Yoon Soo, and Choi Byung Chan, The King's Affection presents various political intrigues in the palace environment which tells about the empress who gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. The birth of his twins was considered a misfortune in the Joseon era. Until finally the daughter of the empress must be killed. Hearing the order, the empress refused and tried various ways to save her child. The baby girl was secretly sent out of the palace. Several years later, her twin sons, Lee Wai died. The mother intends to cover up the death by taking her twin daughters and raising her as crown prince. 1. The Tale of Nokdu Another Joseon era, The Tale of Nokdu is a romantic comedy drama that has an interesting and quite light storyline. Aired at the end of 2019, the series whose story was adapted from the webcomic, Nokdujin, by Hai Jin featured Jang Dong Yoon and Kim So Hyun as the main players. The Tale of Nokdu is about John Nokdu, a swordsman who disguises himself as a woman to enter a village for widows. He did this to uncover cases of assault by female assassins that had befallen his family. There, he meets Dong Dong Ju, a young aspiring Jisian, comfort woman, with a temper. That's all for today's video, please help me with subscribe my channel to the latest news and don't forget to leave comment, see you at my new video and have a good day.